Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we're doing a wear test and I'm excited because I've been seeing this foundation everywhere for the new Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. I'm wearing it right now and I cannot wait to show you guys the application, everything that I did and noticed while putting it on. So we're gonna get straight into the video. Before we do, if this is your first time here, we would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that you know every time that I upload. I upload videos twice a week and they're mostly beauty related with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So if you want to see my application and wear test, including a workout of this new Morphe foundation, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, guys, I have been dying to do this review since I saw that this foundation first came out. The first video I watched was Shayla's, of course, and I'm usually a good shade match with her. So I saw the swatches that she did on her face and she picked Rich 26, but I decided to go with Rich 27. She likes a warm tone. I like a neutral tone. 26 is warm. 27 is neutral. We are talking about the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. It says it's medium to full coverage and that it's a long wearing oil free natural finish foundation that hydrates the skin and blurs imperfections for the ultimate soft focus look. It's infused with hyaluronic acid, vitamin E and glycerin. So this is what the box looks like. This is what the packaging looks like. So it is a frosted glass, which makes it hard to tell what the shade actually looks like because it looks lighter in here outside from the glass versus what it actually looks like. It does come with a pump, standard black pump. I was also excited because it came with a brush. So this is what the brush looks like. And this was a free gift with purchase. So you know me and free stuff and sale stuff. If I can get it, why not? This foundation comes, it's 0.94 fluid ounces, which is a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit less than what you normally get in the standard one fluid ounce, but whatever and the price of it is twenty dollars so like i said i only picked up this one shade i already primed my face i use my becca skin love brighten and blur primer you think i would know the name of this by now it's been sitting for a minute i went ahead and did my brows but i didn't clean them up or anything i am ready to apply this foundation so i'm gonna come in closer let you see the application and then i'm gonna back up let you see how it looks against my chest and then we're gonna do a wear test. It is currently late for me to be doing a wear test. I feel like 11.57, but I am gonna work out today. I have some errands to run, so I have a mask on. So we will put this through a full test. All right, y'all excuse my eyes. I feel like I still have like mascara and eyeliner on from my look last night. We're gonna start with one pump as I've squeezed the pump down twice and this is what has come out so it's not runny but that is like a half a pump so all right we're just gonna start with what i have on my finger i don't know how much this is there it goes i'm gonna say this might be a pump and a half and i'm gonna use their brush i don't normally use brushes like this this kind of reminds me of like those paint brushes the flat ones, I've never, ever, 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 ever used a brush like that, ever. So. I mean, I'd like to say that was a whole pump. I don't know. Because it was literally just some coming out a little bit at a time. But we're just going to buff this in. So this is what the first layer looks like. I would say this is a good medium coverage. I don't feel like it's completely matte. I do see a little bit of a dewy kind of shine, not a shine, but just a nice, looks like a healthy glow. It's not like overly luminous. So this is the first pump and I'm sorry because of the way the pump went. I have no idea if that's a full pump, but let's try this again. I'm going to show you guys what's going on here. 
Of course it's a full pump now. <laughs> All right, so that is what a full pump looks like to give you an idea of what I actually had earlier. You can see it's kind of running a little bit, so. And put it on my cheeks, cause y'all know that is where my hyperpigmentation is. And let's see if we can build this up some. So I am gonna stipple to try to get a little more coverage, which you can see we did. I don't feel like I need a lot on my forehead. I don't know if you guys have noticed, I don't put a lot there because I don't have a lot of discoloration. It doesn't really have a strong smell like that. I think their other one had a bit of a smell to it too, but this one does not have a lot at all. This is what we have with, I would say that's about one and a half, maybe one and three quarters of a pump. So you can see I did get more coverage. I wouldn't say, I mean, I guess if I wanted to put another layer, this could be full coverage, but this is still kind of like a medium coverage i like how it's drying down though so it's very pretty i don't feel like for what i'm doing today that i need a lot more but i do kind of want to see just on like you kind of see my darkness here still which honestly i normally cover that with concealer so i'm not too concerned about that This is what we have. I don't know. We're going to see. Just to see. I'm going to put a half a pump more. And I'm just going to put it where I feel like I need it. I feel like that first pump kind of messed me up. The first several pumps. Alright, so... We saw this area here, so let's see if that covers. It feels very lightweight, but we like to say how much I've actually put on. This doesn't feel like I have almost three pumps of foundation on my face. Yeah, there we go. So this definitely can be built up to full coverage. And another thing, I feel like usually if I have a foundation that says it's full coverage and I try to build it up, the shade starts looking more and more orange and like it doesn't match as well. I feel like this is still staying true to color from the first layer to this layer. So that is really good. And I think it's just because the formula is so lightweight. So this is where we're at. Blends in really nicely, sets easy. You can still see a little bit there, but honestly, I don't know if you guys notice, I rarely ever do like super full coverage to where you can't see my dark spots. Plus, by the time everything else is put on, you don't see any of that stuff anyway, or you barely see it. If I wanted to completely cover it, I would do color correcting. Based on what I'm seeing in the mirror with these lights, I feel like this is like perfect for me. I don't know how it's coming off. It looks like it might be coming off a little orange on camera or a little dark, but this feels like my perfect shade, which is rare for me to get. So I am really excited. And you know, by the time I add concealer, powder and everything like, okay, Morphe, I don't know what y'all did, but I love it. I just want to show you guys real quick shade references because Y'all have seen me struggle with foundations and it's honestly just because I like my skin to look a certain tone versus what I actually am. We have figured that out. So I'm going to show you some other foundations that I love that I think are good matches for me to sh let you see how they compare. So the first one is the Hard Candy Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade Mocha. So that's what that one looks like. I love the shade of that one too. The next one I'm gonna swatch is my Il Maquillage. 
which is in the shade 200. So this is the Il Maquillage. You can see that one's a little darker, which I already knew because I do wear that more like a summer shade, but you guys saw me wear it recently and we were able to make it work. So the next one I have is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I wanted to give you guys drugstore options as well as high end. This is in the shade Coco. These all look so different. And I feel like I've worn that one recently too and it looked fine. So it's just so weird how they can be so different. I'm gonna put the Morphe in the middle. It actually looks like it's the warmest one considering it's supposed to be a neutral. That's interesting. And then I'm gonna put my Anastasia Beverly Hills which this one says it's actually a cool 480C. And then lastly, I'm gonna put my NARS. This is the Natural Radiant Longwear and this is in the shade Caracas. It's so crazy how these all look so different. That's why I say it's kind of hard when somebody gives a shade reference. Like most of the time, these undertones say neutral and they're not. They say cool and they're not. So I don't know. All of these shades, I mean, clearly just looking at it, like I would feel like the best matches for me are the NARS and the Hard Candy. But right now, this is what I have on and I feel like it matches. So... That's why you always see me talking about how my shades look so different and whatever. Time is now 12-12. I'm going to finish the rest of my face, do a quick little check-in to show you what I did. And then I'm going to go run my errands, go work out. I'm going to do a check-in midday and then I'm going to do a nighttime check-in. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I wanted to show you guys because now I'm like really bothered by this. I'm picking my chair up some so you can see. So I added a shade right here is my pure four-in-one love your selfie foundation this is in the shade dn2 so i realized the ones that i like the most tend to have this shade to it because i feel like that looks like it matches me the best and it's weird because it doesn't look like this not this morphe one does but i love how my face looks right now so i also brought two more <laughs> We're on a hunt right now. So this first one is the Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whipped Longwear Foundation in the shade 4.35W. So we're gonna put this on this side. I'm running out of room. So as you can see, a lot warmer than the other ones I tend to wear. And then my Fenty one, I know is too dark, but I brought it anyway, just to show you guys. I got the shade 420. I don't think it's horrible, but well, I don't know if it's dark anymore. It's just golden, I guess. I am fortunate that I've learned how to make my shades work because otherwise your girl will be walking around here looking a mess. Okay, this is where we're starting for the rest of the wear test. Face is done. Like I said, I have errands to run. I need to work out. So we're going to see how this holds up. But I right now am loving how this looks. So I'll keep you guys posted. I'll see you at the next check-in. All right, guys, we're back for the first check-in. This is a little later than I wanted, but it is currently five o'clock and I have worked out. Sorry if my hair is looking a little crazy. I've worked out and I was sweating because I did cardio. I never do cardio. Um, yeah, so I was out in the garage working out outside. I ran errands. I had a mask on. So I'm going to come a little closer so you guys can see how the foundation is looking so far. Doesn't look like it's worn off too much. I did have to reapply my lipstick. Like I said, I was outside. I did work out. I was sweating, like dotting sweat off. I haven't touched up. I haven't powdered. I haven't reapplied anything. This is still the foundation. So I think it looks good. I don't have any complaints so far. I did notice some transfer on my mask, which is real life. But other than that, I think this looks good. I think this looks really good. It has dried down a lot. 
So I do feel like it says it's a soft matte or what does it say? <laughs> Natural finish. This is a matte on me, but I have dry skin. So, so far so good. I'm gonna go edit, do some housework, and I'm gonna check in with you guys again tonight. All right guys, this is gonna be my final check-in because I'm tired. <laughs> I wanna go take a shower, I need to wash my hair, and yeah, I'm ready to get this stuff off my face. It doesn't feel bad, I don't mean it like that. It's just, I'm ready to go shower and get clean. It is currently, 824 so we got about an eight hour wear test y'all know I normally do them a little longer but I just got started too late so this is where we are finishing I did not touch up I had a mask on like I told y'all I was sweating mostly here and here I did kind of like pat some areas where I was really sweaty just because sweat was literally dripping down my face um I'm sorry I'm trying to look in the mirror I do see a little tiny bit of like around here where I was patting where it's rubbed off a little bit a little bit on my chin too but I mean that's normal and your girl was picking I always pick when I edit I need to stop that crap but anyway long story short this foundation is awesome I don't know what my colors were showing earlier but I think this is a good match for me or maybe I'm crazy I don't know tell me what y'all think I I'm glad I picked this up. Only other thing is next time I wear it, I wanna see if I need as many pumps because it says medium to full coverage. And with the first few pumps, like whenever I was trying to, when I first opened it, trying to get the foundation to come through the pump, I would get some, then some wouldn't come out. So it wasn't a very accurate measure of how many pumps I use. So I'm definitely gonna wear it again. Hopefully two pumps will be enough because that's normally what I do for foundation but if not even with as much as I put on today it does not feel heavy doesn't look cakey to me so yeah love it two thumbs up definitely glad I got it hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you're new hit that subscribe button stick around and I will see you guys in the next one bye